Hey, here's a fun one. Let's take a look at this one together. The area A of a triangle varies jointly as the base B and the height H. And what does that mean? Well, varies jointly means that we have a joint variation, and so the generic formula for that would be Y equals some constant times the product of X and Z. So there's two things here. That's why it's called very jointly. We've got two variables here on the right that are multiplying by the constant to get the Y. So, so that tells us that the area is going to look something like this. And we're told that, uh, that when the area equals 20, B is 5 and H is 8. Our mission is to find B when the area is 60 and H is 6. All right, where do we go from here? Well, the first thing we have to do is, as before, we want to find the constant. Since we know that the area is 20 when B is 5 and H is 8, we should be able to figure this out. Now, the answer should not be too surprising. Let's see if we can figure this out for ourselves. So the area, which in this case is the Y, 20, equals K times the base, which is 5, times the height, which is 8. And so I see that 20 equals 40 K. Divide both sides by 40 to get the constant alone. And we see 20 over 40, which is 1 half. So K equals a half. Are you surprised? Absolutely not, because of course we know the area for a triangle. Area equals 1 half base times height. So in fact, we're just finding something that we already knew, but now you can see how we can really find it and that this is really a joint variation hidden. So now we see that the area, A, is 1 half the base times the height. And we just found that for ourselves, realizing that we have a joint variation. The question at hand is, uh, find B when A equals 60 and H equals 6. Well, now this is uh, not really that big of a deal. We know that A equals 60. We know that um, H equals 6. I don't know what B is, though. And so I see 60 equals 3B, or not 3B. <laughs> I guess it only works with 2B, 2B or not 2B. Th not 3B, not very funny. Hmm. All right. Divide both sides by 3, and I see that B equals 20. So what are my units? The base is 20 meters. So you can see it's sort of cool that we can actually use this notion of joint variation to confirm the formula for a triangle. The constant in that case is 1 half.